Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Average Scale Modeler with another model inbox review and today I have for you the B24D Liberator by Revel. It is in 148th scale and is skill level 2. Right here it says the length of the plane is 17 and 3 8 inches. The wingspan is 27 and an eighth inches. It has 167 pieces and is molded in light grain clear. Right here is the history. Uh, it says it has a detailed, cock a detailed cockpit, interior, and landing gear, plus movable turrets, guns, and a tow tractor. I can't wait to build that tow tractor. It's pretty sweet. Here's a little picture right here, and the tow tractor is right there. Here's a little picture of some of the plane. It looks really nice. The bomb is the front half of the fuselage looks really awesome. This is the back of the plane and a close-up of the tow tractor. Looks really nice. So let's get to what's in the box. Right here are the instructions. You have the cockpit assemblies and some figurines that come with it. This, this uh, kit actually comes with a fair amount of figurines. Right here is the bombardier and the pilot and co-pilot. Here's the instrument panel. And on the second step right here, uh, you start making the bomb bay, have the bombs, the shackles and all that. Here's some more bomb bay assembly for the right side. Here are the the waste gun compartments. You have the, the machine guns and all that. Right here is the back half of the fuselage and this is where you place the waste gunners. And it comes with two waste gun figurines also. Here's the front half of the fuselage, the forward fuselage assembly. Uh, the wheels, nose gear assembly, looks really nice. Here's the uh, cockpit. The wings has the engines, and per usual with these Rebel 148th bombers, the propellers are going to spin. Right here are some paint callouts for it. Those look really nice. Attaching the wind wings right here. Here's the some more uh, landing gear some uh, turrets, stabilizers. These things are actually really big. I was actually surprised at how big these were. Uh, this is the top turret and right here it looks like it might turn so that would be really cool. Here's the bomb bays. These can be molded closed or open. Uh, here's some more uh, fuselage assemblies with the machine guns. It has a fair amount of machine guns in the nose. And here's one of the cool parts of this kit, the tractor assembly. Uh, it actually has a fair amount of parts and it looks really nice. Here's the engine, windshield, comes with the tracks, and here's some figurines and the assemblies. You actually have to put some parts together here and it also gives you nice color callouts, which is helpful. Here's the Fighting Sam B-24. Uh, this was actually used uh, in a group called the Carpetbaggers and they dropped French operatives into Europe. Uh, this looks really nice. Uh, the paint guide is a little complicated and just be careful where you put the decals because there's a fair amount of placement things and different complicated stuff that they have in here. This is another plain Jerks Natural. This is the one I'll be building. Um, it actually took part in the raids at Ploesti, which is really awesome. It actually sunk a U-boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, here's what Jerk Nat Jerks Natural looks like. Paint. It has uh, some camo right there. And some bombs. And right here is the Fighting Sam. That looks really nice too. So let's get to what's in the box. On top, you have all these figurines. Now these look to be molded really nicely. Some good detail right there. Here are the clear parts. You have the rear turret right here. Uh, the nose, really sweet. Uh, and some uh, side windows and the astrodome right there. Um, there's some good detail with the framing and all that. It looks really nice and clear. Right here, 
are the fuselage halves. These things are really big. And here are the uh, vertical stabilizers compared to my hand. Uh, so here are some engines and uh, the floor for the cockpit. In the second bag, right here, are a bunch of bombs. Also, these propellers. I was actually surprised of how small these things were. I thought they'd be a lot bigger, but they're not. Here are some machine guns. These things are really awesome. Really highly detailed. Not sure if you can tell on my phone. Uh, there's also the engine for the tow tractor. And here's some tracks for it right here. Those look really nice. The control yokes right here. And some really big wheels. In the second to last bag, you have the wings. Uh, the wings are actually about a half inch or so bigger than the 148th B-17 I have by Rebel. Uh, but they are thinner. Uh, the B-17 crews, uh, they could fly higher because they have uh, wider wings, so they got more lift. But the B-24, uh, it's claimed to have flown faster on three engines than the B-17 with all four. So that's just an interesting fact that I thought I'd share with y'all. Uh, this is some raised rivet detail right here. And in this last bag, it's pretty much the same thing. The turbo superchargers look really nice right here. Uh, here's some more figurines. Uh, this guy would be in the tow tractor because that's what it looks like on the box. And there's the pilot right here. They look really nice. And finally, I have the decals. Really nice decals. Um... A lot of re these Rebel kits, the bomber kits in 148th scale, have really nice decals. So, I'm not surprised that these are really good, because they usually are. Um, some really nice detail. Uh, fighting Sam right here. That's really cool. And then there's Jerk's Natural right here. And some more markings. Group markings, squadron markings. So, there's the instrument panel. And I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks.